Hello. In this video, we are going to explore how to draw ray diagrams for the first of our four types of optical elements. The first one we're going to do is the converging lens. Now these videos I'm doing on paper to show you really the mechanics of how to draw these things out by hand. You will be expected to draw ray diagrams on an exam. To draw ray diagrams, it really helps to have a few things. One, it helps to have pens in a couple of different colors. Black, red, blue, and I also like to have a pencil, and that gives me four colors. You also really need a protractor, which was labeled on the syllabus as one of the things you need for this course. So let's go ahead and get started drawing a ray diagram for a converging lens. So I've already drawn a nice optical axis, you can see here. Now we need to put our lens on this axis somewhere. So we're going to put it somewhere, you know, kind of in the middle to give us some room to work. That seems good. And then I'm going to draw the lens itself in with a pencil. Um, it's probably easiest to draw the center of the lens. So I'll do that still in the black ink. Trying to do this freehand will not work. Um, you need your lines to be straight. You need your angles to be precise. There's no way you'll ever get these diagrams to work properly if you're trying to draw them freehand. So that's going to be the middle of my lens. And, and we're converging lens, so we're thicker in the middle. So my lens looks something kind of like this. Okay, so thicker in the middle than it is on the edges. Now, since I'm not an artist, and that takes time, you'll often see me identify a converging lens just with a symbol that looks like this, and arrows on both ends. And these arrows are meant to indicate that the lens gets thicker towards the middle than it does towards the ends. And you'll see this when we do the diverging lens, we'll use a different symbol. Now, we need an object. So, let's put an object. Um, I'm going to put an object about six centimeters away from my lens. So there's the two centimeter mark. There's the eight centimeter mark. And so that's going to be where I place my object. So my object's going to be here. And, you know, it might be a little face or something like that. Again, I'm no artist. Often you'll see people put a little arrow just to help identify which way is up. We also need to know the focal lengths for our lens. So we've put our object here at six centimeters. Um, for this particular lens, for example, let's put our focal length to be two centimeters. So let's do a two centimeter focal length. It's going to be a positive focal length because our lens is converging. So I'll take my little protractor here, put the five in the middle of the lens, and then I'll have focal points at seven and three, because those are two centimeters away. And I'll label them with Fs. So now I've got my setup. Now we can go through and actually start drawing our rays. Remember, ray number one is in parallel out through focal point. So that's our first ray. That's easy enough. So there is a ray coming off of 
the top of our object, right? Light rays are going off in all directions off the top of this object. There's a ray going off this way. There's a ray going off this way. They're going in all possible directions. But there's going to be one that comes in parallel to my optical axis. And when it does, it's going to go out through my focal point because that's what a focal point is. It mean for a converging lens. Converging lenses convert incoming light that's parallel and bend them to their focal points. So there's my first ray. You'll notice we're pretending that all the bending happens here at the center of the lens, and that's due to the thin lens approximation that was discussed in the previous chapter. The second ray is If through the center, go straight. Now, in the case of a lens, the center is here where the lens meets the optical axis. Remember, the optical axis, by definition, goes through the middle. It may not look like it because I'm not much of an artist, but it's okay. So there. So that is ray number two. Go straight through the middle. Ray number three, remember, is in using focal point out parallel. Now, in this case, we've already used this focal point, so we're going to come in using the focal point we haven't used yet, which is this one over here on this side. So we're going to pick the ray. Remember, there's an infinite number of them. We're just choosing three. That comes in going for this focal point like that and that is going to go out parallel to our optical axis like so and you'll see that in this particular case all of our rays happen to converge right here and as we'll discuss in class that is going to be the location of our image right there. So that will be my image distance right there. And we'll talk more about that in class. What you need to know right now is how to draw these three rays in parallel out using the focal point, straight through the center, and then in through the focal point, out parallel. That concludes this video.